Yo, it's me, Clockwork, and you're listening to the Salt Shaker Podcast. What's up internet, it's the artist here at Virtual Bacon, once again remastering another episode for our YouTube channel. Um, before I kick things off, just thought I would set the scene and go into a little bit of the lore for this episode. Um, so earlier this year, before Hamilton's first major war, um, Lennox was cleaning it up at our Rambats and um, after his second victory he jumped on stream and called out um, Unearth, um, another pretty prominent infinite play in our scene. Um, here's a little clip for that. So that's week two in a row. Hold that, I nerd. You're free, dog. <laughs> You're free. Hold that shit. I'll see you at war. And if you have the balls, bro, put your money where your mouth is, dog. Let's go. Bring it. Um, so here's some pretty exciting stuff there. Uh, as always, shoutouts to Owen by HP and Standing Fierce for their support. And if you guys want to follow us, we are on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Spotify as Salt Shakers FGC or Salt Shakers NZ FGC. And then there's always our individual Twitters. Um, so yeah, without further ado, here we go. Welcome to the Super Salt Shaker Podcast. Chrono. Hey everyone, uh, thanks for tuning in. This is Chrono here with another episode of Salt Shakers. Yeah. So, um, who have we got tonight, man? Seb. Fuego. 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 Fuego, man. Watch your cabeza. <laughs> Watch your cabeza, man. Now, I'm definitely watching my cabeza. You yeah. know, I always have to hide it. It's like, hide it away. Hide Wait, it away. Why is that, bro? Nah, nah, I'm just saying. It's a okay, same, you know. cool. 
So, um, how are you doing tonight? Pretty good, man. Pretty, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty buzzy, buzzed pretty out. It's pretty, pretty. I'm pretty happy to be here, to be honest, bro. Like, I feel really like blessed to be here. Oh yeah. Yeah. Cause what, you, you know, been like, being in the pot on, on the podcast. Of course, bro. Being oh, on your yeah. podcast, you know, like, cause you, right now, bro, you, you're making, you're writing history right now, bro. We're trying, man. We're no, trying. No, you will. You are right now, bro. Hopefully, once it gets big enough. Yeah. We... But I mean, think, think about it. Five years from now, ten years from now, you know, like you guys are gonna be a name out of this community, you know, like even like Dave. I man. really hope that that happens. Yeah, it will, um, it will happen. Bro. I really, really Hard hope. Hard work pays off. Yeah, I really hope that that does happen, and I really hope that you know there's gonna be more fighting games, yeah. or you know, more more people getting involved in the FGC. That would be know. awesome, bro. Yeah. So tell us about um, you know how you landed the gig and um, you know on Dragon Ball Fighter Z as a commentator next to yeah, yeah, Tinkos. So, so so how that happened? I have to big a big shout out to Waza because yeah. he he put my name forward, right? So I went to the LPL qualifier and whatnot. Like I went to play, mm -hmm. but I went like cocky ass, you know. Like I just played a couple of days, and I was like, yeah, I got a few combos. Then I showed up there and I was like, uh uh, you know, like there's this whole new world, you know, like some guys have been playing since beta and there was a beta for it. Mm -hmm. So I showed up there, no skill whatsoever. I got body and these guys, the LPL guys, they were making nothing out of it, you know, like I had no idea. You know, I heard of them, you know, like doing the Tekken 7 thing the mm -hmm. previous year. But for me, like the FGC was, you know, like my local events in pretty much what all what all the Americans do, you know, right, like all okay. the main events. And I wasn't like following like the esports sort of thing, you know, like I was like very blinded just towards fighting games, you know, mm -hmm. like I just watch my thing and I don't care what's happening around me, you know, mm -hmm. but there's the whole esport agenda, you know, mm -hmm. you have your Dota, your Counter-Strike, you know, your League of Legends, what LPL is doing. Mm -hmm. So they cover in a bigger ground. So somehow they, I don't know. I got in there, so I put my name forward. Uh, I sent you're lucky some that you're lucky that Cyclops didn't uh, start commentary. Pretty much. By this. Otherwise, they would have flown him over. So the thing is, I got in there, and I was like, "Oh my gosh!" You know, like there's a, a chance to commentate. Yeah. And to me, the commentary was like just a fun thing out of the community. Mm -hmm. So I don't have, I didn't have social media media till then, right? Yeah. Oh, I always wanted to be that that real Pokemon that shows up to events. You know, that is really loud. You yeah. know. He knows how to play a couple of games. Yeah, yeah. You know, like be that sort of dude, you know, and then just go home and play online and whatnot. So you just rather just not be in the spotlight or anything like that? Yeah, no, I don't really, you know, like to be honest, nah. I like the games, you know, like what what's happening right now being like on TV and all that was kind of like a dream come true, you know, because you always see these guys in America, you know, like doing the big show, like Capcom Pro Tour and all that. I guess we just need a bigger following. Yeah, like, I mean, uh, New Zealand, it's small, right? Like or oh, Australasia, but there's heaps of good players, and it's sad to see that you you don't get bigger events like CPT Pro Pro Tour events like they did last year. They took the it away. The sad thing is that you know, um, end of the day, we're not like America. Yeah. Whereas basically, you know, when there is an event, everyone goes to it. Yeah. You know things like that. There's always like a town like event and then everyone will go to it there's a high school sports yeah. event everyone goes but to I reckon it. to be honest this is the if you want to be in it definitely this is the year bro like 2018 I, I, bro I, like I've been talking to my girlfriend right because she, she knows that I like this video games thing yeah yeah and she met me and I was like how to play you know fighting games and whatnot and I told her you know like I've been doing this since maybe 2012 like 2012 was my first year I give you a little bit of lore of that after mm -hmm. that and it's 2018, you know, six years I think, and I've been through everything, you know, I've done everything, I've, I play, you know, like I finally won a tournament, like finally I won on Rambets a couple of times, and apparently I'm a godlike Ultimate Marvel 3 player, bro. so, okay. so yeah, so I'm pretty happy about that, and, and living the dream, bro, you know, like, but going back to your childhood, you know, like back in those days, you know, you so go to the arcades. Yeah, so it's sort of like um, what Dave said. Optimus yeah. Dave, he did say that uh, I just want to just do what I want to do. Yeah, like hi. you know, and that's playing games. I like playing games, and uh, it's what I enjoy doing. 
Pretty much, bro. Like that, that's it's it. It's a passion yeah, yeah. project from. Yeah. It is a passion project. Yeah. Like to me, like right now, what's happening? If I make it, you know, like if there's more chances, you know, saying okay, you can do another season, you know, you can do another event. I'll take it, you know, like I'll take the chance and I'll, I'll try to make the most out of it. Mm-hmm. Like that, that'll be a cool thing to do, and I really want to do that. So. Hashtag okay. follow me at the Mad Titan X. <laughs> Give me a like, follow. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be keeping you guys updated. Yeah, yeah. So, what's gonna be the next thing, like on the agenda right now? Like, so obviously, well, for me right now, war is war. Is the, yeah, definitely. That's oh, my yeah. focus right now. I'm I'm a man of uh, believing in short time or short times, you know, mm -hmm. goals. Yeah. So I want to be the best in the world, but right now there's a tournament around the corner. That, that I've got a few. Things to sort out there. We'll settle, yeah, <laughs> pretty yeah. Much, we'll so. get to that. We'll get to that very shortly. So yeah, that'll, that'll be the yeah. next, the next step, pretty much. And yeah. then I don't know, maybe I'm gonna have to learn how to commentate tech and who knows, something like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it could be a returning event, you know. Pretty much. Yep. So keep this. Yeah, watch the space, guys. <laughs> so let's get back to it. You know, obviously you're not from around here. You know, based no, on no. your based on your accent and everything. Si. So. Uh, yeah, tell us about that. So you're from Chile. So yeah, I'm from Chile. Yeah, I'm from uh, the. I'm not from the capital. So Santiago is the capital of Chile. Yeah, I'm from a city above. It's called Viña del Mar. Mm -hmm. So I was born and raised there. And what's the scene like over there? Uh, so I don't know, bro. So I got on the scene here in New Zealand. So, oh, okay. So, but I've been around you've been games. Back, you've been back to Chile? No, I have not. Oh, so, okay. So this year is my 10 year anniversary. So yeah. I'm planning to go in September. Yeah. So I already talked to like the FGC guys there. Like I I, I don't know know anybody. You know mm -hmm. I I talked to um, Kavia mm -hmm. a couple of times or through message and all that. He's he's been a pretty cool dude. Like you know he gave me a follow on Twitter. You know I ask him shit. You know he re always replies. Mm. Pretty cool dude. You know like yeah yeah. I, I like him. He's humble and I I, I really want to meet him personally. So he's gonna be there. I wanna go there. And Moises, the guy that went to America. Mm -hmm. To compete on the NBCI, so I talked to him as well. Yeah. Shout out to Moises, and you know, like get to meet them probably. You know, like get to meet the scene. You know, like because I have no idea what it's yeah. like. And when when are you going? September. In this September. Year, okay. September. Okay. So Exciting yeah. stuff. Pretty good. And I know there's gonna be a big major <sighs> this year there in September. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm not I'm not gonna say the name because I don't know it. Like I'll be lying if I try to like throw a name there. But it's a major in September. Like in everybody's gonna be there mm. and I heard that Bernard would like to go there too so it'll be good to see him you know travel and, and stuff so I'm, I'm excited about that mm -hmm. but uh, my first video game was a shooter uh, shooters bro computer so okay. so back home I used to live with mom and then I moved out with my auntie yeah to like the, the suburbs inside in, in Chile right right okay so she was like a pioneer on the net cafes yeah. back then, you know, like 2002, 2003, around mm -hmm. that, that era. And she put up a net cafe, right? And she was, and that was a big hit back in South America, you know, like all the kids after school, they go play Yeah, you know, because computer obviously, games. you know, um, it's the internet is not as fast and sort of um, convenient as what yeah. it is now. Well, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. It wasn't a big thing back then, you know, like everybody now has a computer, right? Like back then, you know, like uh, everybody knew about the, best, the internet. But yeah, you but have you the had best, the best internet. Yeah, you, know? you have the best internet. You have the best component. Pretty much, yeah, yeah. That's right. So because my auntie knew, like I like video games. She's like, okay, you know, like you've been a bit naughty with your mom, so we're gonna get you to live here with us. So I went to study there with my auntie. So they put me in a high school around day place. Oh yeah, yeah. you being a delinquent. Pretty much, pretty much. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, a forastero. <laughs> <laughs> So I, I was being naughty with around mom, so yeah. I should do, you know. So I, I, I was blessed enough to go live with my auntie and she had this project, you know, in her life going. They put a net cafe and it happened to be that I was there, you know, and I got in, and I was hard out into video games, bro. Yeah. Like I remember playing Need for Speed 2 underground, you know, on the computer, yeah. like four computers linked to each other, you know, <laughs> and everybody yeah. was like tuning their cars. And that was awesome, bro. Like. And my first video game was uh, Medal of Honor, mm. Elliot Assault. Uh, Assault, I think that's what it's called, mm -hmm. Elliot Assault in English. And we call it Moha, right? That's the whole abbreviation. And I used to be on a league, bro, online league, uh, like with ladders okay. and all that. And, and I was in a team, like we used to use TeamSpeak back then. And, you know, like um, 
anti cheat system BMW. Yeah. Like the, the, those were the names. And I used to be good at that shit, you know, like I used to play that game. Hard out. Then you know you had your battlefields and Call of Duty. Yeah. And then I had like a break from that and then I started playing like Lineage, MU, yeah. you know, like those role games. Right, right. Then you know like the early days of Dota. Dota, like, yeah, yeah. okay. Like are you like we, we I grind so you, that shit so of, much. So you've funny, sort of been around. Yeah. Like, well, on the, computers, yeah, yeah. I, I run computers. Mm -hmm. And I knew there was a scene. Oh, you know, the WCG, you know, I, like, I used to watch the StarCraft, you know, like always been around games, bro. Like, oh, always in love with video games. Yeah. So, how did you journey all the way from Chile to New Zealand? So, that left mom when I was like seven. Yeah. To like look for a new opportunity and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So, he landed in Australia. But for some reason, he came to New Zealand and he had a little bit of struggle there he got his papers you know your green card as you do mm -hmm. as you call it whatever whatever way around from the world you are and he's like dude i got my visa do you want to come and live with me and i was 17 at the time and i didn't flinch but i said yes and i've been here ever since so have you have you read up about new zealand no nah, not at all bro it's like you're like where like, where's new yeah well, what is where, this you know this? like i know like I knew, I knew like, it's an island, yeah. like, but... I knew it was in Oceania, right? Okay. I knew it was next to Australia. Yeah, you yeah. Know? I knew where I was going. But apart from that, I did... The only thing I knew was rugby, you know, like, all black. <laughs> that, straight up, okay. all black, but, like, really outside, like, you know, there's a rugby team there. Yeah. And, like, you're supposed to be the, world, the best of the world. And that's all I knew, right? Mm. And I ended up here, bro, and it's been a blast since... I've been to Australia though, mm -hmm. Sydney, I went there for a couple of weeks. Oh yeah. Uh, but that was just a holiday. Yeah. You know, like, and yeah, pretty much that, that, that told the story. Pretty wow. much. So you just basically just back. went from Chile and then your dad just said, do you want to live with me? Pretty and much. What, is that, is, what did you see in that? Did you actually, was it like opportunity, a bro. opportunity, yeah. just so, freedom? Yeah, pretty much I was being a naughty, a naughty cunt, right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I was yeah, being yeah. really bad. Yeah, yeah. And... No, no, with drugs and anything, but just you know, like I just quit school, you know, so I didn't know what I was doing. So I was just you know like bouncing around, and then the opportunity came, you know, mm -hmm. like Dad showed up and he's like, "Dude, you know, like you want it?" And I say, "Yes," you know, I didn't even flinch. But saying that, you know, like I took the opportunity, right? I came here, I finished high school, so I did two years. I lived down south, bro, already college represent. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So yeah. I did two years in high school. And then I went on a course, bro, on a uh, Unitech. Yeah. So, like, I always wanted to be a welder for some reason. I like steel and cars and all that. So I went on a, on, on a Unitech course, uh, one year, welding and fabrication. I got a certificate out of that. Yeah. And one of my Chilean friends, like, a, a good friend of mine, like, known in the community, uh, known in the community Alejandro, mm. Alex Fuego, shout out to my dude, bro. That, yeah. That's one of my brothers. Um, he's, um... So one of his family family members, um, they had an engineering company, right? And yeah. I went to work there. Okay. So I went to work there, bro. I did a, an apprenticeship, and I just been doing engineering ever since, you know. I like steel. It's cool. Play with, you know, like <laughs> play with steel, heat it up. Just heat it up, yeah. mount it. Pretty it, much, yeah. it's fun, bro. Yeah. And I and I'm working on a sawmill right now. A like sawmill. It's, yeah, it's interesting. Are you, so you're still, I'm a maintenance you're still, fitter, Oh, okay. So you, do you still hold like a welding gun? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes, okay. yeah. Most yeah, of the time, I've been I'm fabricating at the moment, like just yeah. making these massive conveyors and whatnot. That's it's cool, cool, bro. It's heaps of fun. Yeah, I love my job. That's good. Yeah. That's you know, you don't really hear many people say that. Yeah, no. Yeah. I'm, I mean, I have fun with it, you know. Mm -hmm. Like, and and the guys that I work for right now, they're like really mindful of that and. I don't know, like, they know that I like what I do and then they keep pushing me, you know, towards what I do. Yeah. So, that it's pretty good, bro. Yeah, so, coming to New Zealand, I mean, you said you finished high school and, yes. you've, and you've done everything there. So, let's just get into, you know, let, let's just sort of steer it back to uh, FGC ways, so, yeah. um, you know. How did you go on about, like, you know, sort of meeting the FGC? So, so how it happened, pretty much. Me and Alejandro... How I met my friend Alejandro, so that's why I always name him, because yeah. he's part of the story, right? So, I went to his place one day, and I just bought a PlayStation, yeah. like, and, I, and for some reason I bought Mortal Kombat 9, you know, like maybe 2011. Okay. So, okay. around those days. So, that would have been the PS3? PlayStation 3, I still okay. have the PlayStation. Yeah. It's like, right there, somewhere, okay. <laughs> like you see it. 
And then I had the game, so I started playing. I know how to do combos, right? Because it's all about the combos. That's why you play fighting games, you know? And then I went to his place. He had Street, Super Street Fighter 4 on PlayStation. Yeah. And then he's like, bro, you know how to play? And I'm like, yeah, bro, I'm godlike. And then he's like, yeah, okay. So, you know, every time you say that, like, the, people, the guy that challenged you usually doesn't know how to play. I don't know. That's how I take it. But that's how, how it was back home. And then we play, and it's like, oh, he's good, you know, like, oh, I'm good, you know, like, he did a really good... good so this good. is when you were back in home? No, no, right here. Oh, right, right here in New Zealand, Zealand. okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, so you, uh, well, so that's how I got in the FGC here in yeah. New Zealand, right? Mm-hmm. And how did you learn how to play fighting games? So, pretty much, like I, like I said, I used to whack school to go to the arcades, right? So we had a local arcade back where I, uh, where I was born, and we used to play, and the, the thing is, we never liked Street Fighter. For some really like like the reason why people don't play Tekken in Chile is because you can't see the combo hitting in the corner. You can't see the numbers. So on Street Fighter two days, right? Hyper Fighter, you couldn't see the numbers. Yeah. And there was this little game called the King of Fighters. Yes. So pretty much. Yeah. Right. So that's a South American thing. So my first King of Fighters was King of Fighters ninety seven. Yeah. And that you, game is broken. Bro. I play. Okay, I'll play a bit of King of Fighters myself. Okay, I basically, um, I like King of Fighters 96, that was the first King of Fighters yeah, I've yeah, ever yeah. played. And then basically, you know, you have uh, 97, 98, 98 99, 99 2000. 2000. Which 2000 is just beyond broken. they silly, it's silly games. It's, yes, in yeah, it, it's so broken just because of the striker system. That's cool, that's... Yeah, but the striker system sort of just breaks it because, I mean, you have someone like Vanessa who's already got an infinite. Yeah. Yeah, and I then, remember those. That was in 2000, 2001, Vanessa Striker was good though. Yeah. No, sorry, 2000, yeah, you're right. No, no 2000, yeah, the, 2000. The one where she just dashes in and just one, And two, what about three. The, the the secret uh, Yuri Striker? Do you know that? That it's, guy's broken, Yeah, man. the like, the, the kick or whatever comes out of nowhere. No, he, he comes out, like, and then and then just does like a, does, S- yeah. does no, a slice. No, it's like a single, single hit kick. Because you know, like, you have two Yuri Strikers, right? Mm-hmm. Do you, you have the normal one and then you have the one you have to unlock? Yeah. Yeah, no, you've got that one. You also have Joe, who's really good. Yeah. Joe is... Them punches, bro. It's all about them punches. That's why you're like Vanessa, eh? He's stupid, man. Yeah. <laughs> He's so stupid. That was a miss. Like, you know, you know Ralph? Yes. Yeah. He can actually get, like, you know, Ralph with Joe would get, like... They're silly, bro. Yeah, they're silly. Because basically all he does is he does that tackle and the, you know, the... Punch, 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 all, all those like all games, they always were broken, yeah. right? So always you had that factor. Yeah. But they all, when we play, you know, like when you we try to do combos, we learn yeah. how to do combos. Yeah. As you, you were saying, yeah. so as you're saying with the with the combo, with the combo system, yeah, yeah. right? So combos and supers and all that. So we had those machines, right? And they always were changing. So we had Killer Instinct. We had all the mach- all the games that you can think of. Killer even, Instinct. Even Marvel yeah. 2. Marvel 1, Marvel 2. Marvel 2 wasn't around for long because it was like a really expensive machine. Yeah. Back in those days. And then you have... And then at the end of it, like before I went and moved out with my auntie, they had the, the Mugen machine. So you have this machine with, I don't know, thousand games and you put a couple of coins in it. Uh, and back home, you buy the tokens. Mm-hmm. So you know how in America you have quarters, right? We go and buy tokens. Let's say, I don't know, 50 pesos, which is, I don't know, like, not even a, a cent in New Zealand. You buy one token, and and they have like specials, you know, like 200 pesos, you get five tokens and all that. And wow. that, yeah. And, and challenges, they were like a big thing back there. So you pretty much you put your token on the machine, right? And then you stand there, and if you're challenging someone, you're hitting pretty much that little slot where the token goes. Yeah. Like taunting your opponents, like that. That was the thing back there, you know. If you're like challenging someone, you know, you you go and hit that slotting thingy, you know, say, "Come on, bro, come on." Okay. That that was a, a thing back then. So that was in your local. Yes, on my local arcade. Okay. So we had a local arcade. What in the year was the... this? Like, what year would this be? Would this sort of be in the two thousand? Early... No, two thousands, two thousands. I would say. Oh, no, nineties. Okay. No, no, because I'm 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 a nineties kid, right? I yeah. was born in ninety one. Okay. So I probably would have been maybe like ten to what thirteen. So let's say two thousands, early two thousands. So arcade was a thing back then, like back home. Yeah, same goes here with uh, you know in New Zealand. I was, uh, I I was just in high school, 
and um, that's when like you funds was like picking up oh really yeah well I mean it was already really really popular but then around that time that was when you know things were really looking up for arcades and then you have a lot of games too yeah a lot of games like, yeah that, that is awesome man like and they we had our local arcade right and then there was the big arcade you know and the one in town and that was called uh, Samoans right that, that that was the name of the arcade the Samoans mm -hmm. and they had the big machines there you know like the way all the, the big the big dudes I went there a couple of times but I never I never knew if there was a scene or anything like that mm -hmm. I didn't know anything about like a scene and fighting games until I got to New Zealand bro. Yeah. So I, okay. I, I I had my my fair like share knowledge of fighting games, you know, like I play Mortal Kombat, Killer Instinct, on the Super Nintendo and whatnot. So that's how you sort of learned how to do combos. Was Pretty much. Your, was when you were wagging school. Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. And, and at the so I was a kid, arcade. and I knew how to do combos, you know, like chain combos. Where did and all you that. get the money from? If we, you know, if you were hanging in the local arcade. <sighs> Mom just to, you know, you just lunch money. Oh yeah, so you don't eat, you just... Pretty much, you don't eat and then you make them last, bro, that's... You make the coins last. And then you get the specials, you know, so you, you have a game and then, you know, you look around for 10 minutes and then you have another game. And then when the challenges were up, that, that was a good time, you know. So we used to work school, we used to play for, I don't know, five tokens in like five hours, you know, so you, you gotta make it last. And even though you know how long is the game, like 20 minutes the most, so you still have long breaks in between. So yeah, uh, that would be, I guess, that if you're at your local arcade, you're just facing the AI. Pretty much. Most of the time. Pretty, right? pretty much. Yeah. So that's so, how you sort of have like, learnt how to play and things like that. Yeah. So there was there, there was right before like I went to live with my auntie. Like I wasn't going to school at the time, right? I was being a really naughty guy, and I had a friend, which. Uh, Happens to be that he had money, bro. He was loaded for some reason. Oh, okay. And he was a really good friend of us. Mm -hmm. And he was on the same bus that we were. You know, he wasn't going to school. So we we had another local arcade, like the new one that just opened up. There's a, like a young dude like working there. And we became friends with that guy. But because my friend being loaded, he used to just buy, I don't know, like 5,000 pesos worth of, worth of tokens. Which is a lot of money back then. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I can't pretty much like compare it it's pretty high but there was a lot of there were a lot of tokens I don't know let's say 30 tokens right and then that's more than enough for two guys so this guy knew like we were loaded so he had the the keys to mm -hmm. for all the machines to get tokens for free yeah so just just create it just the button yeah yeah, yeah 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 so the guy because we used to spend so much money and time there he kind of felt like sorry for us he said nah screw that you know like just get some food for us three and then just you know like play some slots for you guys so we came we became friends with the guy and nice. yeah yeah no, it was cool so we had we had a racing game and then my friend had all the the records mm -hmm. like and all the levels and all the times like literally it was ridiculous like c h e and all the numbers were like c h e yeah that, that was his like che. yeah check Chet. He, he, yeah, Cheton. Yeah. That was his name, bro. Yeah, yeah. Cheton, one really good friend of mine, and he was a really good K KOF player. So sometimes we used to have like the duels and all that. So King of Fighters 2001, and then you know like we became friends with the other dude. He just to just put slots in the machine like yeah. around around slow times on, on during their K yeah. day. I want to make a comment about about 2001. Like that game, man. I hated it. The reason why I hated it. We play so much, it's so good. It's fun, though. No? Nah, the, the last boss. So yeah, weird. Yeah, it's, it's dumb. Jinx, uh, Enix, Enix, eh? Uh, it's ridiculous, eh? Yeah, he's so hard. He's stupid. <laughs> you can play him, eh? Nah, nah, only Mugen versions, eh? Yeah, yeah. So we play that a lot. And, that and that the was the machine of, that we had there. Yeah, and the amount of people that play that game. Like, the, sorry, that, that are in that game, the roster. It's ridiculous. It's a lot, eh? So people. the reason why we liked it so much because you could cancel two specials like one one super into another super. Right, right. So that's why we liked it so much. So like the main character that everybody uses back home was Iori. Yeah. So he's pretty broken, right? And then you can do like the long combos, and he could do like a massive combo and cancel it into a super into another super. Yeah. So that's why we like that game. So we can right. do those sort of combos. Well, it's sort of like Street Fighter. I mean, it's like, there's buffering. Yeah. But no, you can actually just straight up cancel them. Yeah, like, you know, big it. moves into another big move. It's awesome, man. Yeah. That's why we like KOF back home. And that, that's why I like Marvel so much, maybe. 
Because you know, like I played Marvel One, right? That was one of the first mm-hmm. games. And then you know you have your Street Fighter versus Capcom. You mm-hmm. know, like oh sorry, Marvel versus Capcom, Heroes versus Street Fighter, and whatnot, yeah. X Men versus. So we play all those games. Yeah. But the main reason why I got into like fighting games was because of Marvel Three, bro. Like I fell in love with that game. It was just ridiculous. You know? Okay, so what about Marvel Two? Did you? So no, no, I'm not. I, I'm new school, bro. Like I have to say it. Okay. I'm new school. Like and, and with. With fighting games, I'll say it, bro. I'm proud, you know. I'm a new schooler. I'm a, from 2011. That was when I got in the scene and when I like started learning how to do combos properly and pretty much know what I'm doing. So before it was just a game, right? Right now it's like I want to be good at this, you know. <laughs> like I want to be good I at wanna this. Be, shit. I want to be the best. Yeah, I want to be the best in Auckland or in the New Zealand much. and like you know, I, in my game, like I'm a Marvel player. Like the game allows. The game is like made for me, I reckon, you know, like I'm a nutty player, bro, I, I like to press buttons, bro, all day, I don't care, I'm disrespectful, you know I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna foot type, bro, <laughs> I'm gonna raw S, I'm gonna down H, I'm gonna down heavy punch, bro, I'm gonna yeah. do it, so that game allows me to do that, you know, mm-hmm. and it's cool, and you have your push block system, you know, that allows you to mm-hmm. keep pressing your buttons, mm-hmm. even though when you're blocking, so, that's why I enjoy it so much. And let you it lets you freestyle a little bit too, you know. So that, that that was the main reason why I got like into the the Marvel gender. Right. Thanks for that, Sib. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go on our first break there. Don't go away, guys. This is a good chance for you just to maybe get up, stretch your legs, you know, get some food, go to the bathroom. But yeah. Anyway, we'll be right back. Hola, mi nombre es Lennox. Si estás escuchando Soul Shaker Podcast. Uh. back everyone so here with me tonight Lennox so um, we just wanted to sort of just hear your side of your own commentary so you have your you know your tasty tea you have your jibes you know Neo like even Justin Wong you know there's some words you know like settle within the, the general right mm-hmm. so your legs you know flip your legs this scoop you know your cabeza so that's pretty much how the trademarks of the game, right? Mm-hmm. So I like the Spanish bit of it, you know. Like I try to, I, I can speak Spanish like fluently, mm-hmm. you know. That's my mother language, and I pretend to know that I know how to speak English. <laughs> <laughs> I try to at least. Oh, it's pretty funny. It's just every time I think when the last time when you commentated, yeah, on an LPL, me, my wife, and my friend was at my place, and we were watching it. And it was actually really funny because every time 
you always say something like, oh very nice <laughs> this is very nice yeah. and it's just like and then like you just hear them go oh, it sounds like Borat yeah, yeah that's true <laughs> so oh, very you, nice you mentioned, how much yeah, yeah. <laughs> you mentioned that before and I, like I'm forcing that you know like uh, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm nice. trying to do that yeah you know approach the other people you know like people that you know don't watch fighting games because that's how that's that for me that was the whole LPL thing you know like that was the opportunity right but the main goal was to get more people to come and watch our games mm -hmm. so you know you go say random stuff you know like oh watch your cabeza or you know there's a, there's a cucaracha on the, on the screen and you know like 16 is doing a dunk and you go like oh lebron james you know like oh steven adams doing a dunk and you know like you see 16 coming yeah. out of the top row or you or, go like or that batista boy <laughs> <Batista Bob, laughs> yeah, yeah, that's cool Bob. and it just clicks you know yeah. and within the game you know it just happens mm. and, and it's funny but they, they they said it before you know like they they the trademarks you know like mm -hmm. of these massive guys you know they, they you see on the big st uh, streams you know like team spooky and you know like the big majors evil and whatnot so that's the goal pretty much right mm -hmm. so i want to go there um on the commentating scene bit you know like with this new game you know like dbz like i think there is a chance right so i want to take it and if i can make it happen you know as a commentator like if i can make it as a player make it as a commentator and i think it can happen you know pretty cool man so as you were saying uh before how you spoke Spanish. Yeah. So, um, tell us about that. So, because you're from Chile, it, yeah. is the Spanish so different? So, so, it is different. It is different, so, okay. Okay, so the, the main language, right, is Spanish, right? Yes. The people from Spain, they, you know, they did their own dialect and whatnot. I was saying that. I was actually asking you the other day, remember? Yes. And um, I was saying, is it actually true of what Russell Peters said? That yeah, that's true. If you go to Spain... They speak a different Spanish. Like but that's with the actual like, Spanish, right? No, 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 no. Yes and no. Because, you know, like... Espanol. We, 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 yeah, yeah, Espanol, yeah. yeah. So, but we speak Castellano. Okay. It comes from Castilla, which is Spanish, but without the lisp, right? Right. So, the Spanish people, the Spanish that you know, it's like, they, they speak with the lisp. Sort of thing. So, so it sounds if, funny, you know. Like, so if they, really say C, if they say C, if they say C, they're like C, like yeah, pretty much. Right. Or or um, forasteros. Foras, forasteros, you know, like really forced in it. Is it? Yeah. So Spanish is pretty is much. Is it like actually English, true right? that the king actually had a lisp when everyone yeah, started that, that, to speak like that? Story. Is that actually the yeah. story? Wow. Okay. I've been blessed enough looks not like, to talk like that, though. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, looks like that. Like Russell Peters done his homework. Yeah, he did. When definitely. He was telling the joke. But it's true, you know, like. Spanish is pretty much like English and accents wise. So as Chileans, you know, we have our own dialect and uh, you know swear words. It, it, we have the the really like craziest Spanish of them all. Like it's really bad Spanish. You know, like, mm -hmm. we say poquito, we say chucha, we say weon. I don't know, bro. Like we Chileans, we've been blessed, bro. We weird. So <laughs> how, do you, how do you compare yourselves to? Um, you know, Spain, so pretty much, Spanish, and you know, and and Argentina. Okay, put it, put it, put it like so England will be like Spain, right? Because they they like the motherland and right, whatnot. Okay. So then you have your Americans, which could be maybe Uruguay or even Argentina, and then you have mm -hmm. like Chile, we could be like a little New Zealand, and then you have Australia. We could be no, they could be the Argentinians. Oh, okay. So and then we have beef with them too, right. like football wise and everything. So I'm a football maniac, right? Yeah. I love my football. Of course, you know. Yeah, I should do. You know, I play football as well when I can. You know, I try to keep fit, even though you can't tell. You know, but I, <laughs> I try to. Like I, I played football last year for mm -hmm. a club. Right. One, yeah, I played for a club one season. Um, I didn't go into it again because I got carry on, carry away with these video games thing. So yeah. That's the, still the dream, so I want to make that happen. I, I'm not going to be a pro football player. That's <laughs> over, you know. That, that's done and You're dusted. not going to be Ronaldo. No, no, no. no. That's not going to happen, though. Yeah, no more. But I, still, nah, but I still play, you know. It's fun. Keep you active, you know. Do some exercise and whatnot. And I love football, bro. And most of my mates, you know, the ones that I hang out, like my really good friends, we all play football. Like, I have a couple of trophies inside. Mm -hmm. Oh, you okay. know, Yeah, yeah. We play some leagues, you know, like futsal and, like, seven aside mm -hmm. and we won a couple of tournaments yeah so pretty competitive and yeah. i love my football but i can score goals i got a couple of videos that i can show you my yeah, facebook yeah. Gee, you know yeah for sure not, for not sure. slouch not slouch yeah so uh let's just talk about you know um you breaking into 
standing fierce and stuff. How did you sort of bond that relationship? Well, like, how did you get it? Because okay. I only met you just maybe sometime la- last year. Yeah, yeah. Because that's when, you know, I started sort of going full steam ahead with Tekken 7. Yeah, nice. And everything. So, so. but did you knew about Standing Fish, you know? Like, did you know about them? Like, because you know, I know, like, I was here listening to the previous podcast and I know, like, the Tekken scene in, in New Zealand was arcade base, you know, like, no very console. Arcade. Like, yeah, like we're that's very what I heard arcade that you, that you mentioned, like, mm. on the pre- in your previous podcast. Yeah. yeah. Consoles weren't a thing, so well, people would actually play on console, you know, just for the sake of it. Yeah, but, okay, you but know, arcade uh, but the real. arcade really was the more up to date game. That, that is pretty cool, eh? Mm. Like, and and you guys made it happen, like, definitely. It's, I know it's a big scene, a Tekken scene in New Zealand, you know, and it's cra- I reckon, you know, like, for what I saw, you have your time zone tournaments as well, yeah. But the thing is that they're not the updated game anymore and things. But back then, but um, back then, you know, back then we'll have our tournaments. So how I got into like standing first, I reckon me and my friend Alejandro playing video games. We listen to the radio in this like this a Street Fighter tournament at this event in Auckland, Big Boy Store. I still remember. I can't remember what's 2011, 2012. Okay. And in Big Boy's toys. Yeah, Big Boy's okay, toys. Okay, so that's and, where. You, okay. Yeah, that's where I I went there in this this group of guys, you know, playing video games. And we were playing Marvel back then, and then we met them, you know, like we, we didn't know they had our case sticks or anything. We showed up there, going to play like Street Fighter 2, you know, the good old Hyper Fighter. And we met Dave, Dave was there, I still remember, Dave was there, uh, Saul was there, Lenny, Lenny, Lenny the Vegan. Oh yeah. Lenny was there, I, I believe I could be mistaken, and Mason. There were a couple of faces, I still remember those. I of Magneto. Of yeah, Magneto probably. Yeah. Well, I, I couldn't. Uh, in um, Arisan, yeah. Arisan was there. I still remember. He was one of them. Did, was it Zosla? Smooth, Zosla smooth. as well. Maybe I can't remember seeing him. Okay. So that was the first time we went there. Then there was a tournament. Uh, it was the AV, AVT Media Event, or whatever. It was the Nationals that year. And that year I met Jay Skulls. Uh, who else? Ajed, I think maybe. Or well, could be mistaken. I don't know. They were, they were hipster guys, that was our first year. And they had a money match there, I still remember. Money match there on Marvel Ultimate, he won. And my, you know, I didn't know anybody. So we just went there to play, try our luck and whatnot, you know. We knew there was a community, and we knew there were like weekly events. So we just started, kept on going, you know. To me, it was like I went to that tournament, I got wasted, like really bad. So I play Ben. Uh, Black Star Ginger playing uh, Ben to make it, so he wasted me, right? And like, there's a lot of people there, and everybody's watching, you know. And then he kind of like beat me ten all, stood up, you know, dropped the stick, bro, and he, he just went. And I was like, <laughs> so salty, bro. And I was like, fuck no, bro, this is not gonna happen anymore, you know. Like, I'm better than this guy. So we played the tournament. My first match was Optimus Day. He yeah. wasted me. <laughs> he wasted me, bro. I don't know if he remembers that, but that was my first tournament. I played Dave, you know, and I knew he's like organizing the tournament and whatnot. Yeah. Okay, I lost. Hard luck. Then I played Debra, um, that is Arisean's brother, little brother. He beat me, I went all in two, and I just lost, bro. I lost it, bro. We didn't even go to, we didn't even went to the finals the next day, bro. Yeah, yeah. We just watched the tournament there. I think they were playing Evo at the same time, and I was so salty that I just went. Yeah. So I got hungry after that. Like I really wanted to become better. You know, I was like, I'm better than these guys, and I started taking it seriously. And it happened to be that where I was living, there is a call. There is a guy called Mason, aka the Messiah. They used to live down the road from my place. Yeah, yeah. And he's part of the community, so I kind of became friends with Mason, and then we just started playing, bro. And he used to waste me like so bad, bro. Like we used to play hundred games, and used to like win eighty, and yeah. used to like win ten or twenty. <laughs> the most like really like yeah, really bad. And then they gave me like a chance, you know. Like I was yelling, you know, trying to hype things up, maybe a bother a lot to start with, but I don't know, you know. We kind of just let it happen, you know, the little rock, you know, and. I don't think I have done anything like really out of proportion. 
-hmm. So, you know, it's been hype, you know, like they just let me be, you know, making a lot of noise. Yeah, hype, I, do, I do hear you. I do hear you across the screen. Yeah, like, and and it's cool, room. you know, like, yeah. I don't know, like makes people want to know like what the hell is happening. And it's cool, bro. Like, I'm not yelling just because, you know, like yeah, I can yeah. see like someone doing a massive combo I reset. Like intentionally, and I can see them on the back, bro. You know, like pumping their shoulders. You know, saying, "Yeah, oh, I did that, dog." You know, like kind of taunting you upon it, like. And I can see they do that, you know, yeah, yeah, because yeah. I'm watching. You know, they they both of them they concentrated watching the game, right? Yeah. And they do something cool, and I'm just starting like, "Oh my god, did you actually do that? Do you do it on purpose?" You know, like yeah. point it out, and. You know, like, I've been the hype guy for the last, I don't know, past five years. Yeah. They gave me the mic a couple of times, thanks for that, and then they gave me the chance, you know, and it's, it's been a blast. So, the rest of history. Pretty much, and then I, we kind of became friends, you know, like, have a couple of drinks here and there, yeah. and then Dave's, you know, there's meetups at his place. I've been there a couple of times. I invited, I, I invited them to my birthday, you know, yeah. come here, have a couple of drinks, play some games. They're cool guys, you know, like, why wouldn't you want to be their friend, bro? Yeah, like, exactly. They, they really Dave like is, cool people to yeah. be around with. They Dave's have stories. really funny. He's always just got great stories to tell. Yeah, you know, like, you have the stories, yeah. you know, like, it's, yeah. it's really cool. Like, And they're, like, really, like, I don't know, in South America, we, like, more, like, skin people, you know? You have your, like, touchy people. I don't know how to say it, not to make it sound weird. But, you know, like, in this side of the world, people is really cold. You know, like, really... Like, edgy, you know, like, don't wanna like, have... Don't touch me, don't... Yeah, pretty much, you know, like, in South America, you know, like, you go say hi, you know, like, to a girl, you know, that you don't even know. You shake your hand, you give her, a, like, a kiss on the cheek, you know. That's very normal in there, you know, okay. and that's been very... That's being polite and respectful, you know, like... Right, right. And here, you know, like, you gonna... You go to do that to a girl, and she's like, oh my god, this guy wants to... Try to kiss me, and I'm like, no, dude, you know, like, I'm just trying to be polite. <laughs> it's weird, you know, that's a cultural thing, right? Yeah. So we more like more skin people back home, you know, like good handshake, you know, a, ha a hug and whatnot. So, you know, like if you notice, you know, all the people that knows me, you know, like, I like to, you know, like give a handshake, you know, like bring it in, though, yeah, yeah. you know, like, like, how you going, you know, how you doing? You know? That's me, you know, that's my culture. That's mm -hmm. So, so yeah, they like, I, I feel, you know, like they like that too, you know, mm -hmm. and pretty nice to have a run you know yeah 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 no it's it's just they, they are a bunch of good dudes i can tell you this much i mean I oh really... there's some weird dudes too though yeah good weird though yeah, don't get me weird, wrong good don't get me wrong yeah like i mean i didn't get to meet them properly until red zone rumble yeah, last year just, yeah that's when i really got like sort of i really enjoyed uh, my time spending with them nice and things like that i mean the whole crowd was great i mean you've got dave Soul, Soul, Shamir, Shamir. Uh, Danny, the Danny, the, the Danny, uncle, 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 uncle Danny. Danny. Yep. Um, but Danny is a man, bro. Yeah. I always shout out to Danny, yeah. bro. Like, I remember like back in the day, because it's been a while now. That I can say back in the day now. I reckon he used to do like meetups at his place, bro. Uh huh. Like, and we got whole nighters. I don't know how many sit-ups. Like, it's a lot of people there. That was they were the god like this. Shout out to Danny, bro. That, that was some cool things they used to used to do you know open his house you know for the community mm -hmm. and we used to play you know and we got ham bro like play for hours and good do good sets some good stories as well yeah. i remember um, playing cam uh dungeon dolls in or marvel bro yeah. you know, wasted him on a set like 15 nil bro <laughs> hold that g i said it you know that it, it, it happened yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 50 to nada bro <laughs> So that was cool. That happened there at that place. So, so yeah, so Danny, bro. Yeah, and also you have the new faces like Simp. Simp, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Simp is so cool. Simp, I think Simp is uh, Dave's cousin, isn't it? I think so. Yeah, he yeah. is a. Uh, so I think Simp was around and he was like li little. And then one day he just kind of like grew up a lot. He's yeah, like I a man that, now. I think that um, Simp's older brother. Was yeah, the same age as yeah. yeah Dave. And Pretty Dave. much. Yeah. So Sim, I, I remember Simp around, but he never played. And now he's got really good at the games. You know? It's pretty cool to see. Mm. And he's putting up the work. So well, he got it back. You know, now he's a frontline and stuff. Yeah. So pretty it's good. it's been cool as well because there's a, there's been a lot of people through the community. You know, mm -hmm. I've seen a lot of faces, a lot of new faces that is really 
cool to see. Mm -hmm. It's really nice to see nice faces. And hopefully I get to see more and meet more people. But you have the OGs now, you know. And I think I think right now I'm one of the OGs. I've been around for a couple of years now. And I'm really hoping that this thing keeps growing, you know, it keeps getting bigger. Well, it's definitely good that, um, you know, all the um, Tekken players are sort of getting to know and it's cool, um, bro. You know, the, the other fighting games. I mean, everyone's it's sort cool. of starting to gel together. And that is awesome, yeah, you know. Because yeah. I remember, like, back then, you know, like, they used to do, take, they used to put Tekken where they, not many people used to show up. Yeah, yeah. But right now it's massive, bro. And, and, like, I love it, you know? Like, and it's cool, you know, like, they all seem, they, like you say, you know, they're glowing together, you know, they're respecting their they space and everybody's, you know, mm. having, having good fun, you know? It is. And that's that's the only thing is that we are we're still so new to offline. Uh, that's it. Yeah, Tekken. Because but you guys have always like on at Rambats, big tune up. You know, there's a lot of Tekken players. There, there has been, but you know, it's not as big as what it is now. Okay. With Tekken Seven being the new game and things. Um, Tekken Tag was great. I mean, we there is a lot of people that were playing Tekken Tag. Um, but Tekken Six. Oh, sorry. Let me rephrase. Tekken Five was probably um you know the golden age for okay. a lot of people taking five yeah but wow. that was more in the arcades and you know people would actually you know um hook up like a cable to the tv to record it really? or probably people would just use like a camcorder and just record the matches uh there's a lot of it there's a lot of them like you know sort of you know floating around in youtube that is awesome yeah. so but uh, then of the F new zealand fgc right there's a, a few videos of those guys. Mm. Oh, nice. Yeah. So yeah, you have you have a lot of them. Um, yeah. So yeah. no, no, that's cool. You know, like you, you have more people coming in, and it's, it's really nice to see new faces. You know, like Sasov. You know, I know he's a Tekken player, right? And then now he's so so good at Street Fighter. You know, like mm. I don't know how that happened, but. I he just made it happen. I think he's always played Street Fighter. Oh, hey. Yeah, he's always oh, played he's Street awesome, Fighter. Like, but, he's uh, a really good, really good player. And, and I get really salty because I get to play him always at Bloody Rambans. Because, you know, I, I'm so scrappy at Street Fighter that I get seated with a really good guys because I'm, I'm, no, I'm no match. <laughs> I, I'm worthless. So, yeah, that I have to hold the L. But it's cool, you know. No, and, and it's nice, you know, that these new games are coming out that we get to see you guys transition to another genre, you know, like anime or whatever, and you guys get to play Dragon Ball and all that. Mm. That That's cool, and I really, and I'm hoping that that keeps on happening. Because, mm. you know, like, right now that game is hot, right? It's it selling, right? It's really good. Yeah. Everybody's liking it's red it. Red hot, red hot. It's re yeah, it's still good. Mm. But I really hope this stays like that. I, don't, I really hope it doesn't flag out, you know? Well, the sad thing though is that there is a lot of anime games, a lot of anime fighting games out there. And um, they always tend to sort of fizz out over time. So, I mean, I I think they do. I mean, Blaze Blue was sort of holding its own for a while. Um, you got Guilty Gear. Yeah. That's also holding But you know it. that you have the new like crossover game coming out like shortly right oh i'm not even talking about that i'm actually talking about like there's another game called fighting climax oh yes yes yeah yes. and that one was um yeah you know, i i really enjoyed that i played a lot of it actually um but the thing was that you know there wasn't any momentum people a lot of people don't know about it and if you don't play anime then you don't yeah, so if you don't yeah, watch true. anime then yeah you're not gonna understand it yeah that's that is true eh? yeah. that is so true but bbc you know like open up a lot of doors you know like it's like an open-ended game. They've if, never if, really had something like this because it's crazy. Like, yeah, man. the older ones was like you know Xenoverse, and that was really weird. It's I never played it's that. It's not bro. really a fighting game. I don't know what is that about. It's not a fighting game. It's not. I'll say that. I'll say it that much. Yeah. So that's why I don't know anything. Like about Tenkaichi, it. not a fighting game. No, no, no. Hell no. No, no. But a I did game. play that though. Back oh, yeah. in the yeah, mm -hmm. we did play that. Uh, did you play that? It's sort of like Gundam. Tenkaichi one, two, three. Yeah. It's sort of like Gundam. Yeah, it is. It sort of, is. You know, and then you like level up and stuff. Yeah, it's for great. And you have like I don't know how many characters. It was ridiculous. eh? no, that was that was a good game. Yeah. But yeah, DBC like I, like I said, it's like an open ended. So you have all the guys coming from all the corners, from all the scenes. I do hope that they keep it canon though, because I mean, just as much as I like, you know, Super Saiyan Four Goku, 
he, he's nah, he, nah. That's not gonna happen, bro. That's not gonna happen. That's not. A we all know people, GT is not true, bro. A lot of people like uh, like you know Super Saiyan Four Goku, bro. All, all all we like about GT is the main song, and that's about it. Like the intro song. That's yeah. what that's that's what we like about that GT stuff. We, the rest is just never happened. Yeah, <laughs> that never happened. Jay. Yeah, that is not true. Yeah, and it's it's kind of. Weird I'm not being a hater, but it's, you know, like we have Super yeah. now, and it's kind of weird that Super. Now that you mentioned it, Super is actually finished. It is. It's, Did you watch it? I've seen it. Yeah. Oh I've, my god. I saw the end like ten times already. Yeah, I saw it a couple of times. Yeah, I, I, yeah it's great. It it it, it did brought a yeah. tear to my eye, bro. It, oh yeah, it did, yeah. bro. Well, I just think that it ended really, did really well. Did you ever thought that Freezer was gonna team up with Goku, bro? Did you ever, did you ever think that that was gonna happen? Well, let's let's put spoilers alert like right now. Oh, okay. uh, so so whoever, sorry, sorry. Yeah. So whoever <laughs> actually haven't seen uh, Super. Turn away now. Just mute it and then maybe give it about like two minutes. A couple of minutes. Yeah, a couple of minutes. So <laughs> basically, we already know that, like you know, um, seventeen. Yes. You know, w- won that tournament, and we thought that he was dead. I know. We Bro, thought- and they pressed the button. They didn't press the button. They didn't. Right? They didn't. They did. They didn't. They did. No, I'm they didn't. Sure they they, they didn't. pressed the button. Jay. I saw it. I don't think they did. So they pressed the button, and then he died. Okay, and then Goku like wrecked shit up. He yep. was so god like bro, ultra instinct bro. Oh my the master. god. Oh my the white god. Hair. Nah, um But yeah, any- anyway, so Goku goes down, then Frieza comes out with the R. Kelly suit, and then you have seventeen R. Kelly suit. Right next to him. <laughs> so they go in, they rick shit up, and yep. then Goku team up with Frieza like that. That brought, cool, man. that brought a tear to my eye, dog. Like I didn't think that. Like that- seriously, man, that made me cry. You know, like I'm sitting there with my girlfriend, and she's like, "Are you serious right now?" And I'm like, "Babe, this is you don't understand." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then you know, we already know what that wish was. Yeah, like, that, it's so it. that, that that's so that's so obvious. it's cliche, bro. It's cliche. Yeah. It's cliche. We all knew that was gonna happen. I think that's kind of ass pull, though. Yeah. If you, if you, it I don't know. If you live long enough, you'll know what it was all about. I think it is an ass pull. Yeah. Like, you know, they pulled it out of nowhere and stuff. Nah, I don't know. Um, people say that it's an ass pull. Yeah. But I, like, let's say for example, if like Freezer kills like Goku, that's an ass pull. Yeah, but I don't Trunks, know. Trunks the, beating Black, that's an ass pull. But the thing is with Dragon Ball, like, I don't know. I I, I like to go, like, deeper on things and, yeah. like, listen to other people's opinions about the series and whatnot. So, like, the most of the people that I listen to, and including myself, they have the same conclusion that Dragon Ball is meant to be, like, a changing character, anime-like show, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? So, the story goes, you know, like, old... If you go way back to the beginning, you know, like, when Goku fight Piccolo, right? Mm-hmm. And he's like wrecking shit up. He's really bad, you know, like Piccolo Daimaku, you know, like he breaks, you know, the they are martial arts. Um, the, the tournament yeah. ring. Yeah, so yeah. He, he, to- he wrecks that and then Goku beats him. Then he becomes good, right? Mm. So then you have Tenshin Han. He becomes good. Okay. Then you have Vegeta and yeah. he becomes good. Then Beerus comes, you know, like all those guys, they're becoming good. Frieza has been like the baddest one. I beg one. to differ. I beg to differ. I think that Frieza will not become good just because oh, yeah. of that cliche. But the thing is that if the if the universe is in danger, yes. then yeah. he will come yeah. to aid. Uh, yeah. He will I come agree. to your aid. I agree. Yeah. That, that'll be, that, that, that's where I'm, I'm heading to. You know? Because he... Because he's bad. He's a bad motherfucker. Yeah, I, I don't <laughs> think he will die. I don't think he will... Uh, I mean, I don't think he wants to die again. But, but because the thing is that if he does try to do anything, then Goku will probably fight along with Vegeta. Yeah, and, Vegeta, and he'll probably and, and he'll probably get killed again. Pretty much. And like, I don't he, think he's not he that wants guy to. like anymore. But yeah. but the whole I reckon you know like they're gonna team up again maybe somehow mm. they'll make it happen. Yeah, like that, sure. that, that definitely that'll make it happen. Yeah. But what what do you reckon? What's gonna happen now? We have a new movie coming up. I'm excited for that. I'm not gonna suspect anything. So you're just gonna wait. I'm just let gonna it wait. Rock. Yeah, just let it go. Just, just be like, yep, cool. That's that's the movie. Okay, the movie's out. Okay, cool. Let's watch it. That's nice. that's all it is for me. Nice. Yeah, but I'm really gutted that it's actually ended. I know. Yeah. Well, good thing for me because now I can get to watch it in Spanish, full Spanish dub, and that definitely takes me back, bro. My what's, childhood. What's days. really gonna like drive me up the wall though is that I'm on Sunday, right? 
Oh, well, today, tonight we're doing this on Friday. We're doing this podcast on Friday. So, and on Sunday, like I'm gonna have like a couple of mates come over. And the thing is that with them, when they watch anime, especially anime, <laughs> they don't like to. They don't like cliffhangers. Okay. Yeah, they're those type of guys that would like that would not want to talk about anything. So when I'm in the room with another guy who's seen the episode. You know, he'll just be like, no, 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 go away, yeah, go away, yeah. go away. And we're like, just bloody watch it. And then they say, oh, no, I don't want to because, you know, I don't like cliffhangers. It's like, then that's not my problem. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but now that it's finished, yeah. he's like, going, okay, on Sunday, let's go to your house. Let's watch it. It's like, dude, you're, you're telling me that you want to come to my house and, and watch all the Dragon Ball Super episodes. You know how long that's going to take? Yeah, that's days, bro. You know the hours. Like I'm watching it like every afternoon sometimes yeah. I watch a couple of episodes in Spanish. Yeah. So I think they're up to like episode 100 maybe on the Spanish. So they at the Tournament of Power already. They are, yeah, but I'm on way back bro. I'm like on episode 20, you know. I just started oh, watching okay. it again in Spanish. Mm-hmm. So that, that that's pretty cool. I get to watch that. Yeah. And then it takes you, definitely takes you back, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the same voices and whatnot. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But to be honest though, I think that like, you know, uh, the, the Fighter Z um, game that they've actually... Released, I like it, man. It's good. It's good. But, it's really fun to watch as well. Yeah, but the, yeah. I, I was just going to say that. I like to, I like, rather than playing it, I definitely like to watch it, bro. Mm-hmm. I like to watch it. That's why the commentating thing just kind of merits with it, you know. Like, I, I'll say it loud and proudly. I'm a Dragon Ball commentator, no player. I'm mm-hmm. a Marvel player, bro. That's what, that's what I'm all about. That's it's that's it's just cool. how it is. It's cool. Yeah, the podcast, like I mean, like I already said, I've said this in so many of my podcasts with other people. Is that like, um, I've had the idea for so long, such a long time. No, it's good. But I've never really put that into sort of action. Well, you're already doing it, my friend, and it's awesome, you know. Yeah, yeah. Like I mean, like I said, I, it was all wrestling, um, sort of inspired. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm a big fan of Chris Jericho. Oh, hey. Yeah, so later on, I mean... I'm a Stone Cold Steve Austin, man. Yeah, no, there's, he's All got his day. podcast. Yeah, he's, I He's know. got his podcast. I listen to that guy a couple yeah. of times. I, I like Talk as Jericho because um, I've always liked Jericho. Okay. As, a, as, you know, as a wrestler and things. So you like the character. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and no. he's been around, bro. He's, he's a, been around. He's an experienced yeah. guy, you know, like... WCW, ECW, he went to Japan. New Japan and everything. First ever, like, yeah. double and, and that's champion the thing. or whatnot. Every now, every every so often, he was, he, he, like, he was over with the crowd. He loves, like, the, everyone loves him. Yeah. And then, um, you know, later on, um, his, his gimmick becomes a bit stale. So, he, he reinvents himself. He did. And, and, um, and he gets it over every time. And he's become the bad guy. Yeah. Or is the, the bad guy. guy? No, well, when he became the bad guy, that's when he starts reinventing himself. That's when he has a little yeah. bit of fun with his character. That's cool, though. Yeah, but then and then he can then he ends up getting cheered, even though that he's the bad guy. So yeah, I if I do actually get to meet him in real life later on, um, yeah, like maybe you get him to your podcast and then he gets you to your to his may, podcast. Maybe, maybe. Now, if I need to be a wrestler for that make, shit, make it happen, you. Yeah, but yeah. Anyway, um. Back to the uh, back. Back to everything here. So, you've been you've been playing the game for yes. like you've been in this for quite a while. Like you know, since 2010, 2011, or yeah, last. 2011, 2011. Yeah. From there, the the the, the spark, mm. rush, you know, the spark came around, and yeah. it's been just glowing and flaming ever since. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Like um, it's it's finally good to yeah to finally meet you, and that's how we actually that's. With the podcast here, that I, I feel that that's important. That you know, we just sit down and yeah, it's cool. You know, it's awesome, just man. the whole like meet each other and you know just talk about um, you know just just things that we don't normally talk about. Yeah, yeah. You and, know, thing, when we're, and, and also thanks for the chance of, of you know like letting me be on your podcast. It's, it's cool. It's a blessing, and also it's like you say, bro, you may write in history right now. Well, you come know? on, man. You know, the, uh, like you, I mean, uh, one day, bro, I'm gonna go back tell my kid, you know, like, hey, I used to do this. Yeah. And he's like, really? Yeah. Look, <laughs> you know, I was on this show. This show, you know, you were gonna be massive in five years from now. I, you know? I hope. You're gonna have I your hope. TV show, though. <laughs> of course, man. Like all the best, you know. And uh, I really, I, I'm pretty sure you can do it. Well, yeah, yeah we just gotta sort of um, 
think more realistically first. Yeah, of course. Take a step by step. Yeah, like step, I say, you know, low, baby, low, step, baby, yeah, step, baby yeah, steps. Baby steps. Yeah, baby steps. But um, it, it's always good, you know, just having people sort of, um, yeah, just just to interview and have a good talk. That's, that's why. It's that's nice. why I feel that, um, you know, when when people ask me, like, you know, Nick Tamadi from Christchurch, yeah, yeah. they tell me they say, oh, how about we do this through Discord or something? I was like. Yeah, we can do it through Discord, but I like the interaction. I yeah, like the face to face sort yeah, and of it's thing. Not, and it's you a know. different thing as well. It is, know. it is, because you know, we could sort of play off each yeah, other yeah, sort yeah. of you know it's nice. facial emotions. Negative to and see stuff. my friend. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um let let's get on to um, you know, the other parts of, you know, the interview there. So um has there been any moments, like any saltiest moments that you've ever had in the FGC? It's my first one bro, when I go body by by Ben, like really bad, and there's people watching, you know, like, and he kind of just stood up, you know, dropped the stick, gave me like a nod, mm -hmm. and then he just went, bro, and I was like sitting there, like, fuming. Was this on the stream? No, 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 just, just playing casuals. Playing casuals. Just wasted me, but I couldn't do jack, you know, like, I thought I was good, and I was like, that's just, is that your first reality check? Pretty much. Yeah. Pretty bad, bad bro, and I was like, because <laughs> I liked the game, and at that point, you know, like, I hated it, bro. Yeah. Like, to me, that was like rock bottom. So that was the rock bottom moment. Pretty much. That's saltiest, yeah. like, they ever been. Like, not even like losing a tournament. Yeah, yeah. My first ever, like, salty moment. That was it. And I'll never forget that. That, that always comes back to me and well, makes me want to be better. What's your greatest moment in FGC? The, the best feel good moment? I don't know. Like, I've been. I can't remember. Like, beating someone on the stream, maybe. I can't remember who it was. Uh, I, would, I would say like winning a tournament would be, but it hasn't. Cause uh, you know like, I, I don't know. It's w it's weird. Like I would say you know maybe like beating Mason at Rambat, like making him really salty. I was that that was one of the my happiest moments. But I think I still haven't had it yet. That's why uh, I can't define uh, yeah. define it. I I think it's greater things to have that like yet to happen. So. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll get back to that one. Yeah. I will get back to that get one. Get back to that yeah. one. Okay. Here's the other one. Here's the million dollar question. The salt shaker million dollar question. Ooh, ooh. So, who is your... Who's your 2D... Like, I mean, who's your fighting game waifu? Kami, bro. Kami? All day. Street Fighter Kami, bro. Kami? Look at that blondie, bro. I thought that would be accent. someone like Storm or nah, something. Nah, nah, nah. No, hell no. Nah. Kami, bro. Yeah, look at that woman Marvel, with that... Yeah, but that, that woman, bro, talking to you with that pretty accent. Oh my God. What, the British accent? Yeah, of course! I guess, well, I mean, you know, you do have a lot That's of... That's why, like, you know, in, in a Street Fighter Turbo, you know, you come in like... <laughs> you, you have... That's the thing that... I mean, yeah, you have... Like, you know, the, most of the sexiest girls in gaming have, like, British accents. Pretty much. Well, yeah. I mean, you've got... You do have Lara Croft. She's British. Is she? Yeah. Ah, uh, no, not a fan. I would, I would, I could say my, the the woman that I would cheat it with it would be May from KOF. Like oh my god. My. Yeah. Or May. Whoever May, where, wherever yeah. you come like we call it May back home. Oh yeah. And and that woman is always active. Always moving. Something's moving with Something's that woman. Something's moving, yep. So but no definitely hands down bro, Cammy bro. Cammy. All day bro. They're, I like blondies, G. Okay. This is good, but it's it's battle arrow. Egg rat, oh my god, please let it touch me, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, that's, I guess that that's sort of, um, I actually, no, um, I was about to end the podcast. Oh, okay. No, 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 a new challenger has All entered right. the ring. Oh my god. Yeah, no, uh, let's, we need, we got a story to cover, man. Yeah. We got a story to cover. Um, let's talk about your, uh, your journey to war. Oh, okay, okay. So, we actually, you know, at the beginning of this podcast, um, basically, me and Daly, we brought up this little topic. Okay. About your little, your, about your little beef. Okay. Your little beef. Okay. So, oh, yes. The, the, this is a, a little an anomaly in the Matrix right now. Mm. So, it needs to be uh, deal with. So, I feel like Neo right now, I'm about to wreck shit up. So, so you think the other guy's... 
Agent Smith. Agent Smith, it's free, dog. <laughs> I am telling you that right now. So, no, so this is what happened. This is why I'm so okay. salty about this. So, new game, right? So, there's a new game. It's supposed Infinite. to be like Marvel vs. I'm a Marvel player. Yep. To the heart, to the bone. Uh, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite comes out, right? So, they pull, throws out a tournament at the Red Bull Studios, I believe. Mm-hmm. So, I didn't win that tournament. I got second place. I lost to to the Messiah. Uh, I wasn't so salty about that. I think what happened is I was so close to beat him that that it was actually going to happen, and I choked. Mm-hmm. I definitely choked on that tournament. Okay, I, ha- I hold the L. I lost, but I was hungry, bro. I wanna I wanna be good at that game. I liked it. I enjoyed it. So national was around the corner. Mm-hmm. So FGC net new game. A lot of people entering. Uh, I entered the tournament. How many people w- entered that game? I don't know. Let's say over twenty. Only over twenty people. Okay. I would say. Yeah, yeah. So there was a fair, fair amount of people playing it. Um, and you didn't enter, right? I did enter the tournament. So okay. what happened? Uh, I thought I was the best in the world at that point. My team was very cheap. I knew my characters were ridiculous. I had some stupid like nine k BMBs on lock. So what happened is I went out the night before. Cause I think it was a holiday, some random thing. I went, I went out the night before. I came back home. I was super tired. I went to sleep. Woke up. Oh my god, you missing out! I woke up at the event and I just got kicked out of the tournament. Like if I would have showed up two minutes earlier, I would have played a loses match, loses um, side match. Yeah. So which I didn't, and fate hit another way. And this guy called Aner happened to be the one. Mitchell. Mitchell, shout out to Mitch. Uh, he plays DVC, he's alright at that. You respect he, the dude, right? Yeah, no, yeah, no yeah, beef, yeah. bro. Like, no I beef. respect him. We, we have good, Go, you know, good, good terms. Good, good terms, terms, you yeah. know, like, shout out to that guy, all good. But when it comes to Marvel, hell no, bro. That's my game, G. You can't come and talk shit about that. You know, I'm the better player, bro, and he should know that. And I think he knows that. Yeah, yeah. Right? So he won the tournament. Okay, cool. Take W. I went and challenged him straight away, dude. Money match, people. He said, "Nah, okay, I respect that. We we'll play next time." So, uh happens to be that I won a tournament a couple of weeks ago mm-hmm. called Gardens of Might. Mm-hmm. So I won that tournament. Uh, it wasn't free. It was a hard, steep so who, mountain who to did climb. You end up? I, I be Sketch. Shout out to Sketch. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's really good fighting and player overall. I beat him. I beat Dave as well. I think it was one of my first or second games. Mm-hmm. I beat Dave within myself again. Beating Dave. And Sketch, then I have to play Isaac or someone. No, I played Toss mm-hmm. in the top eight. Mm-hmm. Toss and Toss. Then I, yeah, Toss. Yeah. Yeah. Toss. Sorry, I got an accent, dude. I know. This is beautiful, Toss. isn't it? Yeah. Do you like <laughs> it? I bet he likes it. Let me know. Holla at me, dog. Let me know if you like it or not. <laughs> And then I be uh, Isaac beat me, and then I beat him again. So it was a, it was a, it was rough. It wasn't free. So he started popping off, bro. Like saying, "Keep my seat warm" and all that crap. And I'm like, "Hell no, though." You know, like if you think you're good, play me, play me, bro. Okay, we do exhibition, but you have to put some stakes on it. You know, I want to get the best out of that guy. You know, if you if you think he's good, bro. Show me what you got, bring the best out of you, put, put your some money, money where your mouth. on, yeah, yep. put your money where your mouth is, and then see what happens, you know, yeah, throw yeah. some money out there. When did he hit you up to say, yep, let's do it? Well, I saw, because he went to the LPL um, top 8, right, yes. so he was involved in that, he did pretty good. Uh, I talked to him, and I'm like, dude, you know, like, we gotta make your interest, you know, like, you had to put your money where your mouth is, that's exactly what I said to him, he said, yeah, nah. So, so I popped off. I, I won Rambats. Yes, the other night. that was just um, the the one that just happened. Yeah, the previous yeah. week. So mm-hmm. I won Rambats. So I beat Deffert. Hold that, Deffert, and I beat Isaac again. Hold that, yeah. <laughs> Little pop off again. But uh, I won that, and I pop off. You know, like yeah, so I just went saying, you know, like, oh, bro, you're free, though. Fucking fight me, Jay. When did you? When did you actually? Um, you know, did you actually take the mic? Like, Actually, I say you know, like it just. I know that to me. yours truly was sitting in the desk. Yeah, yeah, I know. He was you, sitting in the commentary box. Cause I think they want to like do an interview, right? So I think they do yeah. interviews for the winners, and I'm like, you know, like, cut this shit out, stop this, give me the mic. I just went off. He, I know if you're free, you're free. And he, apparently he's not. So he he wants to, I don't know whether redeem himself or he just call him back. You know, cool. You know, like, 
I respect him. What do you, what but do you think he has to play, say? Bro, uh, I don't know, bro. Just let's play, bro. Play, put the money on the table, bro. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And we have a good so time what you, the game. Okay, okay. This is just, um, let's make this interesting. Do you think you have this in the bag? Yeah. Free. Yeah? Free? Hands down, bro. Like, Hands I'm gonna down. play, bro. Like, I'm not slouch, bro. This is my game. You think he's gonna eat the humble pie? Yes. You will. Okay. Pretty much. I'm not gonna lose, bro. Straight up. I'm not gonna lose. I'm I'm gonna go there. You've to come win. this far, right? I'm gonna go to win, bro. Like I know I have that guy's number and balls to the wall. All day, bro. Balls to the wall. All eh? day, yep. and then after that, bro, like life continues, goes on, and everybody's happy. You know, yeah, restore, everyone's happy. Restore you. The, yeah, the peace I mean, is back in the universe. I think that that's probably what's gonna happen. I'm, mean, you know. You, you have your money man. It settles things. Yeah. It settles pretty much, things. And, and saying that, you know, if I lose, which I don't think it's gonna happen, I'm gonna have to hold that. You know what I mean? And that's how you create rivalries and whatnot. Bro. Yeah. Well, I'm not gonna lose, bro. I'm telling you're you. You're not right. gonna lose. No, I'm not gonna lose. Okay, okay. Well, basically, um, just the other day, you know, when you when you called him out, okay, and things like that, he actually messaged me. Okay. He messaged me. And, okay. Um, he actually had something to say. Okay. So, um, you're not going to like it, actually. Okay. Okay. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Here we go. <laughs> Forastero. So. Hey, Steve Mitch here. Hey, loving the show at the moment. I'm hoping you're going to have Seb on there at some point. You, did you see what he said at Rambats to me, man? Oh, man, if you get him in there, I just want to let him know that I'll be spending that cash up once I bury this fool. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> What do you have to say about this that? This guy, don't worry bro, he's gonna be begging me to buy him some beers yeah, after that. Yeah. Because I'm definitely gonna use his money to buy me some good beers bro. Some beers eh? Pretty much. I might just spill one in front of him just for the sake of it. Well, I mean, we'll have that ready, you know, and then you can just do it on stream. You go, oh, <laughs> or something like that eh? Please make it happen, Jay. Make it happen though. I'm gonna bring, okay, I'll tell you what. We, I, I'll hit up like, you know, the Hamilton dudes and things like that. And I'll see if I can actually bring the laptop down. Nice. And, okay. um, you know, I've got all the gear, so I've got, like, a commentary um, camera. Oh. And I've also got a player camera. Oh, my God. Let's make make it happen. Bro. Yeah. Like, so, to be honest, like, it's, we're going to settle, you know, we're going to make a show. I want to put up a show for you guys, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go there and bring my A game and... You know, make sure, let them know that I'm definitely the better player. I think that we should actually have an interview panel between yeah. the two first. Make it happen, bro. And then, you know. Like, make it happen, you know. Like, we need, we need these things on the FGC and I really, you know, want to see some other match. To be very well. honest, though, it's not always happy, happy. No, hell no. No, it, and, there's oh, always going to be, there's always going to be sort of friction. To throw it out there, I also, <laughs> I happen to be that I make the wrong choice of, Money match and challenge smooth, aka the fighting game specialist, into a Marvel vs. Captain 2 uh, money match. But I'm gonna have to duck that. Uh, sorry, dog. I'm gonna have to leave it for Crash uh, Counter Capital because uh, I'm really focusing on this uh, infinite uh, matchup. Yeah. So I'll, I'll, I'll hit smooth up. I'll, I'll definitely make that happen as well. But but yeah, yeah but yeah. So there's more things coming, you know. Like, Mm. So I'm really hoping to come victorious out of this one, and then I'm gonna have yeah. I'm gonna have to, uh, to put up a real challenge, learn a new game, and yeah. try to not to lose some money on that. <laughs> so with with Mitch there, I mean, like to be honest, I I wish both of you guys you know, the best of luck when Thank it comes you. to that. Um, I know that it's gonna be a really really good match, so we're gonna look forward to that. It's gonna be gratis, bro. No discount. Straight in, put it on the back, walked out of there. And you put it home, hang it on your trophy cabinet. And yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna be a slaver knocker, bro. You're gonna see some dirty shit. Race then, new combos. Watch your cabeza. Oh, oh. <laughs> bro, and bro, and you know what we're gonna do after this? You know, after after I win that match, yeah. we're gonna go back, and then we're gonna sit down together, and we're gonna do a special uh, podcast. We're really watching the match, and I'm gonna tell you what was going through my head during those moments. If you really want to, yeah, yeah. we're gonna make it happen, though. All right, all right. No, no, that sounds good. Well, anyway, um, before we wrap this up and ride off into the sunset, and I spilled my drink. You <laughs> said that was me. Jeez. <laughs> oh, right. Now I've got like wet, like I've got wet socks. That's not cool. Don't worry. Wet socks. Now nah, it's cool. That um, was for you, mate. <laughs> 
You're gonna like pour that over his head or something? Pretty much. No, yeah. no, no, that's too much. I'll pretty much I'll spill it right in front of him. But... All right. Well, before we actually, you know, ride off into the sunset, I'd just like to give my thanks. So, before we go there, um, is there any other special mentions you want to give out to anyone? Uh, just to the whole New Zealand FGC in general. Yo, you got my boy Waza there. I really want to give a shout out to him. He's come a long way. Become a good friend. Uh, Dave, Sol, Bill, Richard. Um, all, pretty much all the OGs that you know they've been pushing this thing and making it happen, you know. So even you, you know, like you bring your podcast in and giving me the chance to be here and you know, get get my voice out there, get the people to know me. Mm. Add me on Twitter at the Matt Titan X. Follow me, guys. Don't worry, man. It'll be in the plug. It'll be in so the yeah, plug. that pretty much just shout outs to the KFGC in general. Oh, shout outs to Tink as well, to Tinkos. Uh, shout outs to that guy, you know, like. We had a good time on the commentator boot. I really want to see him there again. He has a lot of talent. Hopefully, he makes it. Uh, vote for him for the G, G, uh, G Infinity stuff. You know. Mm-hmm. Hope, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll be supporting him next week. Who knows? You mm-hmm. know. So shout out to that guy and to you again, Drax, the <laughs> mate, Draxilla, Draxington, <laughs> for providing all the drawings and stuff like that. Yes, sir. Yes. Oh, I'm gonna have a sweet drawing. I forgot. Yeah, about you that. will. You will, and you'll have a player card. Oh my so, god. Yeah, yeah. That, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. So yeah but, man, thank you for having me yeah. and it's been a blast, man. Yeah, no worries. Lennox everyone. Fuego!